Uh, people, it's me, King Human, listen up. I got my scream and yelling mug out because I'm going to scream, I'm going to yell. My head might explode. You may see some blood spurt. Anything could happen because I am so pissed off. This shit really drives me mental. And uh, I'll tell you exactly what's going on here. So, I'm doing my job. I'm going through chasing down internet products that should have a good chance of making you guys money, right? But I'm getting frustrated because I'm not finding anything. There's not anything out there that I can put my name on and recommend and say, hey guys, go check this out. This could make you money. I can't do it because there's nothing but junk out there and it's making me angry. I have to kiss so many frogs to find one prince. <clears throat> And it's, it's just driving me crazy. But here's the thing that really made my head explode. I came across something that was actually dangerous. If you do this, if you buy this product and use it as the guy says, you're going to get sued. It's dangerous. Here's what it is. This guy came out with a product. He calls it CPA Phoenix. Freaking idiot. What it is, is a piece of software that goes out and it actually copies verbatim somebody else's website and then you post it on your server and act like it's your website. And then you monetize all the links with your affiliate links and that's how you make money. So I'm watching this guy's sales video. Oh yeah, I made this great software. It's really cool. It's going to make you all kinds of money. All you have to do is go steal somebody's authority website. Now, in his sales video, he uses three examples. Wired Magazine, Oprah, and Dr. Oz. So, the one he actually shows is from Wired Magazine. He goes in and he steals Wired Magazine's website. And he posts it on his thing and he monetizes the link. And he goes, now, here's what we do. We take our URL where we've posted this Wired magazine and we go to Bitly and we use a URL shortener and then we send out a bunch of emails to people saying, hey, go check this out. And when they click on that link, they actually think they're on Wired magazine. So they trust it. And when they click on any link, it opens up this, this advertisement for DraftKings that we put in there. Now, what this idiot is asking you guys to do is steal copyrighted material. I'm talking about trademarks, logos, copyrighted material, both written, graphic, and visual, meaning videos or audio, everything. It's all copyright protected. And this guy is saying, just go steal it. Just go use it. You know, you, you copy it and you post it. It's yours. Oh my God. This is going to get anybody that uses it sued up the ass so fast. If this guy used it on my website, my attorneys would crawl up his ass so fast and own him. I, now, this is the other thing that really pisses me off about this guy, Seth and his other sub-mental, chuckle-headed idiot that pretends like he's interviewing him on the radio. I don't know if I remember that idiot's name. But this is what pisses me off. Before even one minute goes by in his video, <clears throat> he says, this is completely legal and white hat. Now, what is he doing there? <coughs> it's a preemptive strike. He realizes that anybody with a brain who watches his sales video is going to say, you can't steal other people's content. That can't be legal. And that's his preemptive strike by saying, yes, this is 100% legal. Look, you submental idiot you. Just because you say it's legal doesn't make it so. Freaking idiot has no... Co okay, here's the thing. It's either one of two things. Either he knows it's illegal and he doesn't care because he just wants to make a fast buck. Or two, 
He doesn't realize what he's doing is illegal. Either way, it's dangerous. He's a danger to you, to himself, to everybody. Because if you use it, you're going to get sued. He's going to get sued for selling it and encouraging people to steal copyrighted material. He's teaching people to do something illegal. And people that don't know any better are going to do it. They're going to get sued, and in turn, they can sue him. It, he's going to have such a huge class action lawsuit on his ass, he'll never freaking recover. But he's stupid, at, or he doesn't care. Either way, dangerous. Now, King Human, why do you care? Again, two reasons. Because I don't want to see any of my followers, any of my people, or actually anybody at all. I don't want to see anybody getting in trouble for listening to an internet marketer or for trying to make a few bucks. You know, that shouldn't be anybody's experience. You shouldn't try, you know, if somebody goes out and tries to better their life through internet marketing or, or, or you know, trying to make a few bucks online, they try something innocently, not knowing because this idiot said it was legal, and they believe him, and the next thing they know, they're getting sued. I don't want that to be anybody's experience. That's one. Two, this guy's an internet marketer. I'm an internet marketer. I practice internet marketing with standards, ethics, principles, morals. And an idiot like this that comes out and just shits on the industry like that gives the whole industry and people like me that work hard at the reputation gives all of it a black eye with one stupid thing because there are going to be people that see this and there are going to be people that believe it and there are going to be people that get in trouble and then they'll never believe another internet marketer again in their life because this guy was self-centered or stupid and it drives me freaking up a wall. So, okay, some people, let's let's take the, the let's be a devil's advocate here and say somebody says, "Oh, King Human, you're full of shit. That's that's totally legal. You can steal somebody's website. You can steal their trademark, their logo. You can steal their content. You can steal their videos, their images, everything. It's legal because it's on the internet." Well, there's another idiot. And I know a lot of people think just because something's on the internet, it's up for grabs. Well, here's what I want you to do. I want you to go and Google search free legal advice or free legal forums and go into a legal forum. There are a bunch of legal forums out there where lawyers, actual lawyers, attorneys will give you free legal advice and answer your questions. I want you to tell them, hey, I got this piece of software. It's called CPA Phoenix. Here's what it does. It goes out and it copies an entire website verbatim and I post it on my server and I pretend that I'm that website. Wired, Oprah, uh, Dr. Phil. And I monetize all these links. Is that legal? And you know what the lawyer's going to say? He's going to say, oh great, go ahead and do that because I need more work. I need more billable hours. And if you do this, you're going to get sued and I get to represent you and make money. You idiots! Freaking Seth, and he was going to be a cop? Come on! He's encouraging people to steal! Intellectual property theft is real. Just because it's not a physical good like a car or a bike or a computer doesn't mean it's not theft. The actual word for it is conversion. You're actually converting something that doesn't belong to you for your own benefit. Look it up. These guys are dangerous. You gotta run from them like a scalded dog. That's my advice. Everything I just said here is my opinion, but I'll tell you, I, video, I copied this guy's thing just in case he decides after seeing this video to change his whole story. I've got this on, on recorded and there's no escaping what he said. I mean, this is dangerous. He's, he's actually encouraging people to break the law and it's going to cause a lot of pain. So be careful out there, guys. 
really, use your head, and if you come across something like this that's questionable, just because the guy says it's legal, the guy who's selling it to you says it's legal, don't believe him. Do a little bit of research on your own. Simple, you're sitting in front of a computer with a search engine. You got a legal question, type it into Google. Free legal advice. Then have somebody answer your question. This guy didn't take the time. Well, I don't know, maybe he did. Like I say, maybe he knows what he's doing is copyright theft and he doesn't care. Or maybe he doesn't know. Either way, he's dangerous. He's a danger to himself, he's a danger to you, and he's dangerous to the industry. Idiot! All right, people. Donate a few bucks to help a sick kid at St. Jude's Research Hospital for Kids. They help sick kids. Their childhood cancer cure rate is going up like crazy. They share their research with other hospitals. It's a great thing to do. What else could be better? All right, go away. Freaking idiots!